Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher. Uh, I hope you're doing well. This is Sunday afternoon in Southeast Texas for me. It's a very windy day and I'm happy to be in here to share something with you today. Um, this is gonna be a simple bookmark today. My granddaughter will turn nine this month and she's very much into books and um, she's asked me for some bookmarks and so I thought I would show you one that I'm going to do for her and the pattern that I'm going to use is a ribbon pattern that I I have tried before and I really like it. It's a lot of fun. And it's called Fairy Wings by Joan Stark. And I might try to add some little butterfly type things um, because she asked to have that on one of her bookmarks. And I'm going to try to do several, but um, as far as several bookmarks, but not on this video. Okay, I want to show you how Fairy Wings starts. Uh, she really just does a wiggly line, nothing perfect, and then she comes back the other way around it. Okay, again, you don't need anything perfect. And then you go inside and put little petals like this. <clears throat> and then two more little petals like that. And I suppose I could zoom in. Okay. And then on the outside of these, you put outer petals. Okay. like that and you can do different things with them like uh, make this a little more bold on the outside and put little touch of a mark there in the center and then you just go to the next part do that again you can go ahead and do your second leaves while you're there. And I tend to do mine kind of like doing a figure eight, like that. So a loop here, I'll come down and do my loop there. And then add the other petals on the outside. And then like you said, if you wanted to, Make this one a little more bold. Like that. And then she puts a little fescue. Or one thing that I like to do is put something like this and add another one of those out here like a bud, <clears throat> excuse me. So there's all kinds of things that you can do to enhance that. So here's my bookmark, zoom back out. And I'm gonna be using, uh, just a black Micron 01 and a graphite pencil and a blending stump. And this is two inches wide by six inches long. And I'm not gonna put a hole and a cord at the end. So I'm just going to start by putting the little 
wavy lines. And again, I'm not worried about trying to make them perfect, but I am trying to kind of keep it in the center. And now I'm just gonna come back down the other way. Okay. Like I said, we're not looking for anything perfect as far as this ribbon goes. And then we're going to start adding our petals. And I will probably come back and add some watercolor on these with my watercolor brush pens. I think she would like that. Also have a five-year-old granddaughter, but she's more into playing outside. Not into reading yet. Oops, sorry. There's that one. Okay, let's do this one next. So your inner loop. Turn. Do that again. And then do our outer petals. And again. This goes pretty fast. I want to try putting this pattern on a Zendala in the round. So um, that'll be something to try. These are also cute for spring. I know some of my friends on Facebook still have snow, and I'm sorry. It's been fairly nice here, except for being very windy lately. Anyway, I hope to do several videos for bookmark ideas. One of my favorite people to watch is Melinda Barlow. She was one of the first people that I watched when I was learning Zentangle. And she does a lot of bookmarks. But she also teaches at a library. <laughs> so that's a good place to take them and give them away. Okay, one more. As always, I like easy, simple patterns. because I enjoy the Zen even more. Okay, I'm gonna go down to this end where it's kind of open and just pretend that there's petal coming up this way. Okay. 
And you could, if you wanted to, put a line all the way around this before you start. But I just like having my patterns go off the edge. <clears throat> Excuse me. So again, there's different things that you can do with this. You can add the little fescues inside. Um, I'm going to bring one out here and do kind of like a little print on spiral at the end. And then I'm going to put one of these inside. So it looks like it's a little bud. And then, like I said, you could just have little fescues coming off from different areas. Okay. Let's do another one of those little buds here. Okay, so make the center just like we did down here on these. Okay, before I add many more of those, I'm going to show you how to do this one. And for this, um, this pattern is just one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's what the four stroke is. And then you can continue by putting more this way and that way and such. But what I'm gonna show you is this one. And it starts by making the little body. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put like little orbs all the way down that are getting smaller. And then we're going to do our strokes coming up this way. Here's one, two, <clears throat> one, two. And then the other side, one, two, one, two. So just a really simple butterfly that she will enjoy. Okay, let's try that. So. I think I'm gonna try one here. So I'm gonna make the head and just keep coming down a little bit smaller each time. And then Get small and bigger. Make a small one and a big one. Smaller, and bigger. And <laughs> I didn't match the size, but that's okay. Smaller and bigger. <laughs> okay, it's a funny looking butterfly, but it's okay. Okay. And let's put another one down here 
at the other end. Big head. And then as you go down, make it just a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm gonna do this side first. <clears throat> Excuse me, the left side, because then I tend to do better for some reason at making the size match. Okay, so now I'm going to come to this side. One, two, three, four. All right, let's give him some antennae. All right, so the other thing that I forgot to do is put these little dash little strokes inside each one of these little petals. So I'm gonna go back and do that now. Put one in there. And the last one here. And then we're just gonna go along and add more of these or fescue. You could also just come off of here and make a little spiral with a little fescue inside. I think I'm gonna have one come off this other side. Make it yours, make it your art, just enjoy it. Okay, have one come around here, do our spiral. Sorry, it's not as easy with a bookmark to keep it centered. Okay. Here's our little bud. And I think I'll have a little fescue coming off of there. And maybe one coming below here too. It's another thing about uh, Melinda Barlow is she loves using fescue. Okay. Add another one here. Oops, almost put the point on that one. And a little fescue coming down here. Now they're coming up here. And then, hmm, let me back it out so you can see the whole thing. I want to give it a little bit of balance. You could add all kinds of things that you wanted to along the sides.
And then another little bud coming up in this direction. You can even come back on these if you wanted to and add some little leaves. I think I'm gonna just not do that. <laughs> um, let's put another one here. Right. Simple. So that was fairy wings and four stroke insect by Alice Hinden. And I hope you enjoyed that. Simple, easy. And I'll probably go in and add some color to this. And uh, maybe I'll sh show both versions of it when I'm done. All right. Thanks again for watching me. Another short, simple video for you. I hope you have had a great weekend. Have a great week. Stay safe. And I will see you next time. Thanks again. Bye.